Senate Concurrent Resolution 4026. Mr. Secretary. A concurrent resolution to create and enact a new section to Article 10 of the Constitution of North Dakota relating to the creation of a legacy scholarship fund and to amend Section 26 of the Article 10 of the Constitution of North Dakota relating to the legacy fund. Senator Shibley. Uh, Mr. President, Senate con concurrent resolution 4026 creates a new section to Article 10 of the state constitution to create a legacy scholarship fund. This resolution, if passed by the electorate, would on July 1, 2018, take $450 million out of the legacy fund and create a special legacy fund scholarship fund. The earnings from this fund would be used only for the purpose of granting scholarships to eligible residents of this state who meet academic standards and other criteria established by law and who would attend accredited institutions of higher education in this state. If this resolution is adopted, this would be on the general election in November of 2014. In current numbers, we are looking about 2,800 scholarships at $1,500, which would be about $4,200. The fund interest would be about $4.5 million for every percent of interest earned. The leftover money that would be used would have to be used for scholarships and or stay in this account. Mr. President, the intent, that is the intent of this bill. In committee, we discussed the timing and taking money out, out of the legacy, legacy fund and the amount that would be put away. No one was objected to the scholarships, but I believe the committee was divided on the idea of what the true intent of the legacy fund is, or is this the proper time to start designating funds from the legacy, legacy fund to specific needs? We had several votes, and it became apparent that this resolution might best be served by coming to the floor without a committee recommendation, and that's what we did with a vote of five to one. Further discussion? Any further discussion? Senator Grinberg. Mr. President, the um, carrier of the bill did a fine job explaining the bill and from what I heard talking to some of the members of the of your Senate Education Committee um, like the idea but as I said is it the right time and I thought I would share um, some perspectives as prime sponsor of the bill and then um, let the body decide if it's the right time uh, Mr. President members of the Senate in 2007 there was a proposal on the floor of the Senate that um, uh, was titled the North Dakota Promise in the media and what it called for was uh, or enhanced academic rigor in K-12 education, emphasis on science and math, and then in turn would result in a reward um, for the students that had achieved a 24 ACT. And the bill also um, provided $40 million a biennium, and the plan and intent was to do that over 10 bienniums, and hence achieve in an actuarial table $400 million and the interest earnings then would calculate out with, at that time, the actuarial number of students. What I mean by that is number of high school students and the number of students projected that would go from uh, the average ACT of 20.6, if my memory serves right, to a 24 as a result of increased incentive, if you will, with taking more science and math and performing better in tests. Mr. President, that bill passed the Senate overwhelmingly in 2007. Um, it was defeated in the House. But the point I'm making is that today, uh, after the 09 session and the 11 session and where we are today, the majority of that legislation is in law. There are two fundamental differences between the 07 proposal and today. We know that K-12 academic rigor has been increased. We know that we have a merit-based scholarship program at $6,000 maximum for four years. The proposal this session to go to 10,000. The proposal in 07 covered 100% of tuition. So the difference is uh, 6,000 present, 10,000 proposed of the total tuition cost, and there's no trust fund. And so I think it's important that as we debate uh, the future of the state and the strong economic times and the purpose of the legacy fund in the future, I think this is a great discussion to have to keep on the front burner um, because over time, if you just looked at the numbers at what we're presently spending out of the general fund, um, it's about a couple hundred, it'll be a couple hundred million dollars in the next 10 years. So the numbers somewhere are going to work out because we're making re increased commitment. It's just do we want to have uh, a fund that is um, dedicated solely to the purpose of educating our students, challenging them um, to uh, higher outcomes in high school and college, 
and then rewarding them. That's what this debate has been about um, since 07, um, is increased academic rigor and a reward. And so this, in my opinion, uh, is a great debate. Um, I'd ask everybody to vote uh, their feelings and how they want to see this, but I, I do know that it's important that we do have a study. Uh, the senator from um, District 34 um, carried that here earlier this session, and I'm hopeful that um, in time, uh, maybe it's 2015, maybe it's 2017, we'll continue to improve a scholarship program that is first rate and best in the nation. So with that, Mr. President, um, I'd ask for a green light. Any further discussion? Hearing none, we will proceed by way of recorded roll call vote as this uh, resolution pertains to the uh, amendment of the Constitution. Question being on the final adoption of Senate Concurrent Resolution 4026. Would the Secretary please open the key? All Senators have voted. Any Senator wishing to change their vote? Secretary, close the key. Final tally on Senate Concurrent Resolution 4026 reveals 25 Senators voting yay, 21 Senators voting nay, one Senator absent and not voting. The resolution is adopted. Senator Cook. Mm. Come on. Continuing on the 11th order, Senate Concurrent Resolution 4030. Mr. Secretary. 